Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Huh? Give me the raspberry with the oatmeal? Come on, little man, you gotta eat. Please, please. I beg you. Look, look you no. The DNA test. Why? Come on, one time. Here, look, look, watch, watch, watch Uncle John. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. Oh, it's so good. Please, gotta eat a little bit. Well, I don't know whether my timing is lousy or, or great. And at your own risk. Yeah, it's amazing how much of a mess one little person can make. Are you kidding me? The kid never stops. <laughs> yeah, Cole was like that. He was into everything. You know, Patrick wanted to get him one of those kid harnesses, but yeah, so I drew the line. GPS, maybe. Uh, kind of draw the line with the leash. <laughs> so, um... Trying to have breakfast. Uh, all right, T. It's okay. We were we were trying. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't going too well. You know, every time I uh, I offered him the spoon, I know, buddy. Every time I offered him the spoon, you know, he he, he either turned his head or he threw it at me. Well, he must be almost two. You know, you can actually try letting him feed himself. You are kidding me, right? No, no. Just load up the spoon and you know. Let him have at it, or you can just uh, put some dry cereal in a bowl and uh, see what happens. Now you tell me. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll let me try that tea? Well, um, I'll let you have this time with, uh, with Tommy. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you, you don't have to go. I, I could use the advice. Oh, I guess I could stay. I hope you like oatmeal. Wear it well. It's not cold. Well, you know, once you get there, tell me so it's a lot easier to get him to sleep. Okay, I'll try to remember that. You're really good with him. <laughs> you cleaned up. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. In my DNA, I can't help myself. <laughs> You want to tell me why you came by? Right. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Marty? Uh, look, it was, it's just a, a stupid idea, okay? Just a really stupid idea. What? <sighs> this paper. See, I told you it was a stupid idea. Oh, no, this is your... Uh... This is your top flight stuff, and everybody needs paper, right? That's not the whole present. I... Oh. The big book of paper airplanes. Yeah, I know. It's a gift for a seven-year-old. I know what you're going to say. It's... I'm not saying anything. I'm... No, you made that paper airplane for me out of my marriage certificate. And when I saw it just, you know, fly out over the water, I felt all the stupid feelings I had about Mary Miles just... You know, fly away with it, and, and I know how much you love your father, and you said that he was the one who taught you how to make the paper airplanes, so I thought that maybe, you know, I could get you this, and you could show Tommy what your father showed you, and... Oh, this is a stupid idea. <laughs> Wait. Thank you. So what model is that? That's your F-16. Did you hear something? Uh-uh. No, just wait a minute. Now he's just, you know, moving around, getting comfortable in his sleep. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm impressed. You already have your parents' sixth sense already. There's no sixth sense. I'm just being the uncle. So you don't ever look at him and wish you had one of those? No. What made you want one? fell in love with Patrick. You know, we got married and I just couldn't wait to see what our kids would look like. I think he looks like you. I don't know. I think he looks like his dad. What you said, you know, was true. What did I say? Well, before you even think about having kids, 
you have to find the right person. Never been with anybody, you know, who makes you think about wanting to start a family? It's me. I'm, I'm the one who's not right. Oh, no, I don't agree with that. Look, when Cole was going through all of his problems, you were the only one he would open up to. You, you know, you listened and you didn't put pressure on him. He puts pressure on himself. You'd make a great father. I should go. No, no, I'm not going to go yet. Um, I kissed you yesterday. I know I was there. Yes, you were there. And if a patient had come to me and said that they had kissed a friend of theirs, I would say that they had, you know, crossed certain boundaries. And, 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 I, and I know how important boundaries are to you. They're, they're very big to you. And I didn't want you to think that, you know, look, our friendship, it means a lot to me. And I really don't...